Hey guys, it's Carl here. In this student spotlight lesson, I'm going to show Alexis how to move from single note lines into power chords quickly, and also give some tips on how to move power chords around the fretboard really quick and with a lot of ease. Now before I do that, please subscribe to the channel and please ring the notification bell so you can know whenever I release a new lesson. And please submit your own student spotlight video by checking out the link below and uh, submitting it at the website. All right, so here's Alexis with his video. Hey Carl, it's Alex from Greece and uh, I want uh, some advices for how to change power chords faster. Or you know you have some feel and you have to go back to play the rhythm and you need to do that fast and the uh, sounds clean. For example for whom the bell tolls from Metallica that he is doing a feel down here and then goes back. <laughs> That's my question. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right, we got another Metallica <laughs> uh, song to, to talk about here. I've got a lot of these student spotlights. It's about, maybe that's my thing. Maybe that's all I got to teach is Metallica stuff. Um, so anyway, it's a great question, and it's something that I get a lot of comments about on YouTube about how I play power chords, and. Um, they're there because when you see power chords played when you like learn them in a in like a book or a chord reference book you'll never really see them fingered with your index finger and your pinky it's usually your index and your ring finger but then when you watch james hetfield or you watch um, kirk hammett nine times out of ten they're playing the power chords with just the index and the pinky now why do they do that because that position allows their thumb to come up to the top of the fretboard and it straightens out their wrist. Now, especially because they're, they're playing, you know, massive stadiums. So they're standing usually. It'd be kind of boring if they're sitting in a chair. Um, so the guitar is generally a little bit lower because of that. And this hand position allows them to move around the fretboard a lot more than if their thumb was just directly in the middle of the neck, which makes them bring their palm way down, which is you know, obviously harder to do because if the guitar is already too low to begin with, and to perform that power chord like this, or like the three note power chord. So you'll see them play that stuff like the, uh, for whom the bell does. All right, so the reason they can get to that power chord so quick is they're not changing their hand position. When you, you're, you can play this lick almost like a lead lick, well, because it is. But see how my thumb is a little bit higher there? So it allows me to kind of prepare for that power chord that's coming up. If I played the power chord with my, in, my third finger, I'd have to move that thumb down. So it had to be from this position to this position. So that is why they play almost all the power chords, even if it's not coming from a, a little lead lick, because it allows them to stay in this kind of angled position with their thumb a little higher. So just try that. I, take a power chord with your, uh, just on the low E string, and you see how this is, my fingers are kind of angled towards my face, right? So it's one thing to play the actual power chord, the, the, with your pinky, but you, it's good to kind of get the angle too, because if you're going straight up, you're just kind of doing the same thing, but you're just replacing the finger here. But if you put a little bit of angle in your hand, you can move around. Now that's hard to do with the third finger, because it's just, you're, 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 it's requiring your hand to jump, it's kind of in an awkward position anyway. So if you just release the pressure and angle the hand like this and play the power chord, the top note of the power chord, your pinky. By the way, much easier to do power chord slides. So most people are afraid to, you, you use your pinky on some of, uh, some of the chords, but that is the way you really want to focus on keeping the position. Thank you. 
see my hand, my thumb didn't really have to change that much. And so um, I want you to learn from not only me, but from like the guys in Metallica and the guys who play a lot, most guys who play very fast power chord shifts, you'll find that they usually do it uh, with the top note fingered with the pinky. And instead of the fingers going straight up to this, it's kind of more, a little slightly more angled, not as much as like an open position chord maybe, but um, Kirk Hammett actually does it. His are very angled. You can see his, when he plays, his other fingers are just going straight out like that. And he has a very angled position, which allows him to just move that chord shape up and down the fretboard with a lot of ease. Um, and obviously it's similar to a lot of the lead guitar position he would use. So he can do some little fills or whatever and then grab this next chord, but not a big change in the thumb position. All right, so that is what you want to practice. You can practice doing that lick, or you can just first practice taking the same shape and just playing that chord, which should prepare you to go Now, even if you wanted to play it like this, which is actually a more proper way to play a single note line with your thumb a little bit lower, it's a lot easier to get down to that chord if you're playing it angled like that and with the pinky on the top note. As soon as you get used to using the pinky, as opposed to going, oh, I'm sorry. That's a hard shift, all right? The hand just doesn't naturally move that well that way when it's straight up like that. You need it to be, if you don't need it, if you don't need a full bar chord, don't use that position. Use this angled position and the top note with your pinky and uh, you'll get very fast at moving around power chords with ease. All right, I uh, hope you get something out of this. I'll see you again soon.